Hi, in this Excel tutorial, we are going to go over four things. We're going to look at relative versus absolute copying or referencing. The words are used interchangeably. We're going to look at how to format numbers in Excel. Then on the next sheet, we're going to look at how you make a graph in Excel, and we're going to introduce some basic Excel functions. So one useful application of, in finance is that we can use Excel and financial principles to see how our savings will grow over time if we know what the interest rate is. So if we invest, say, $10,000 into a bank account that pays 8% interest, we can use Excel to show us how that sum of money is going to grow over time. The formula that we use to do this and we're going to get to this formula more, so I don't expect you to understand the formula right now. I just want you to see the process of what we're doing. So to do that, I click in the cell I want and I enter an equal sign. And what that tells Excel is that the contents of that cell are going to be equal to something. What are they going to be equal to? They're going to be equal to 10,000 or the contents of cell B16 multiplied by 1 plus 8 percent. And that formula multiplied by 1 plus the interest rate, that's how you find the amount that a lump sum will grow into over time. And if I hit return, you can see by looking in this cell that our $10,000 within one year should grow to be 10800 I can go all the way to 10 years by entering that formula in every cell. Right in cell B17, I could say, okay, the cell B17 multiplied by 1 plus 8% should be the value that's now in B18. One great thing about Excel, though, is that you don't have to re-enter the formula in each subsequent cell if it's the same formula as the one you want to use above. If I put my cursor on that little blue box in the corner, that blue box is called a handle, if I click it and I drag it all the way down, it will automatically copy the formula. So in B17, I said that it was equal to B16, right? One cell above multiplied by 1 times 8%. If I scroll down to B18, it says it's going to be B17 multiplied by 1 plus 8%. And as I scroll down cell by cell, you can look at the formula. And what it says is that we're going to reference the cell above and multiply it by 1 plus 8 percent. That's called a relative reference because it's telling you to, that it, you're telling Excel that you want it to reference one cell above. So you're, rel you're referencing a place on a spreadsheet relative to the cell that you're in. So let's move on. And before we move on to using absolute references, we're going to format those cells. On my Mac, I have over here my number formatting. It'll be someplace different on a PC. Um, you're just going to want to get used to using the help function on your PC or on your Mac because you might have a different version of Excel than what I'm running. I go to my number and I say that I want it to be set as currency. And usually in this class, we will do currency with no decimal places. If it tells you to do if I want you to do currency with two decimal places, I will explicitly tell you. So the default should always be currency with no decimal places. So now that we saw how to use relative referencing, we are going to use what's called absolute referencing. So we'll start with our same balance of $10,000 at year zero. Year zero always means today. One year is one year from today. Two is two years from today. So next year, we're going to have $10,000 multiplied by 1 plus, instead of entering that 8%, I'm going to click on that cell. I'm going to click on cell F13, and I'm going to tell Excel that I want to be able to change whatever I put in cell F13, and I want it to change my entire model that I've made. In order to get it to reference cell F13 and not whatever cell is one, two, three, four rows above, I need to set Excel to do what's called an absolute reference. On a Mac, 
Command T will toggle you between relative and absolute references. On a PC, you'll use F4. So I'll hit Command T. I will close my parentheses and I will push return. Then, when I grab my handle and drag down, I'll get the same answer as I did before, just like I did in this column. When I format them, they'll look identical. The advantage to using absolute references is that I can do a bit of an analysis, right? I can say, okay, if I'm earning 8% interest, if I invest $10,000 today, in 10 years that $10,000 will grow into $21,000. What if I earn 6% interest? I can change this cell. That is called a value driver. If I change the value driver, the results update automatically. What if I earn 10%? So you can see quickly that the higher the interest rate you're earning, the larger your sum of money will have grown to by the end of 10 years. I'm going to stop this video now and we will do graphing and functions in another tutorial.